to deliver the baby, the surgeon gets his hand into the uterus and brings the baby's head out of the uterine cavity. The mouth of the baby is suctioned first to get any secretions out. Then the nostrils are suctioned. And it's important to do the mouth before the nostrils because that prevents aspiration. The rest of the baby is brought out of the uterus. The scrub nurse continues the suctioning of the baby. The surgeon then applies clumps across the umbilical cord. And then between the two clumps, the umbilical cord is divided and the baby is handed over to the attending midwife. At this point, the anesthetist gives 10 units of oxytocin injection intravenously. This aids uterine contraction. And whilst the uterus is contracting, the surgeon maintains tension on the umbilical cord. And this enables the delivery of the placenta. And this technique for delivering the placenta is known as controlled cord traction, which is the same as what is done during a normal vaginal delivery. So the placenta is now taken out of the uterus once it's separated. And that placenta is also handed over to the attending midwife to weigh and check to be sure that everything is complete, the lobes are complete. The uterus is brought out of the abdominal cavity. The dwarn's retractor is reinserted to keep the bladder out of the way. Then, this instrument is called the green Armitage forceps. And green Armitage forceps are applied around the edges of the uterine incision. These green Armitage forceps reduce the amount of bleeding from the uterine incision. So they're actually hemostatic forceps. But then the good thing about them is that they are non-crushing forceps. So they do not crush the uterine muscle. A towel is used to clean the uterine cavity to get all pieces of placenta out.